the Dancing with the Stars finale was nothing less than spectacular last night. We saw the win that was a, well, more than a decade in the making, and all top four finalists are here to relive it with us all. Mirabal winners Merrill and Max, they are here. Yes! Amy and Derek, the runner up. Oh my gosh, Candace and Mark. Jason. You are just fantastic how you were able to come back and be the encore dancer with PETA. I'm just so very, very happy for all of you. But let's start with you first here, the two champions. Meryl, here you are, the Olympic gold medalist, yeah. and now you bring that home. I know. That is not, that is not bad at all. Not bad at all. Year. I'll take it. Pretty exciting for a couple months. It's been a couple, of, and can you believe it's over after all these weeks, these months of working with that man right there? No, you know, Charlie and I went right from the Olympics basically into this show. Mm -hmm. And so the journey from the Olympic Games through the season has been so amazing, I just can't even describe it. Wow, well you try to describe it. I, I love how you can't take your eyes off Max and <laughs> looking, at, looking at the video, looking at that. She did great, she did great. <laughs> well, you weren't half bad yourself, and you said was it was, there was a reason why it took so long for you to win, and it was because of that woman. If this was the right time, what did you mean by that when you said that? It felt, it felt great. It felt perfect. Like, you know, you always walk away thinking, okay, maybe I could have done this different or not. There's, there's nothing I could have done different or mm -hmm. would have wanted to. So, uh, it was, it was brilliant. Well, it was brilliant to watch and so consistent on, on top. And, you know, a lot was made about Charlie, of course, your, your partner at the Olympics, and. You had a message for him, now he has a message for Aww. you. Here's Charlie White. I just want to say congratulations, Meryl. No one knows better than me how much you have deserved this through all the traveling, the sleepless nights, you know, coming in here so early in the morning, you did everything with a smile on your face and inspired all of us. So thank you and congratulations. Aww. Aww. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing but love, nothing but yeah. love. Absolutely. Oh, Amy, First of all, you can dance. You can just flat out dance. <laughs> Thank you. We know what an inspiration you are and have been for so many of us. We've learned so much from you. You said that you learned a little bit about yourself. What did you learn? Yeah, um, gosh, so much. It's hard to sum up. I, uh, I, I learned to appreciate the strength of my body. Um, I wouldn't be able to do this if I wasn't as strong as I was and, and training for the Paralympics. and. Um, Gosh, I learned that we can overcome so many obstacles. I already have overcome so many, but on top of my legs, I was dealing with a back injury and a lot of pain with that. And it's amazing how you can, if you really, if you really focus on something, how you can push through it. You, yeah. You show that. You show that in so many ways. And Derek, you know, even it was said that you're you're like the choreographer of this generation, and to to work with Amy as you as you did, what was it like when you first heard that you were going to be working with her? Well, that was one of the reasons why I wanted to do this season. You know, I, I was, up until this point, I, was, I wasn't really sure what else to do. I was like, I kind of feel like I've done everything and I'm really happy with what I've done. And I heard she was going to do the show and I, I jumped right on board. I was really excited about it. And um, wow, just to be a part of something that for me felt more than a competition and more than mm -hmm. a dance show. And I was just really just, uh, I really felt really privileged to have been able to have that opportunity to to do that with her and to, to discover through. things. So. Uh, yeah, and I'm glad you're feeling better because you were you were hauled off to the hospital at one time. Mark, how's the shoulder? It's doing huh? okay. It's doing okay. It's a, it's a little sore, but um, I'm, I'm gonna get it properly checked out again when I get back home. But um, we made it through. I was just glad I could get out there for the last couple of dances with Candace. Yeah, and Candace, you seem so appreciative. I mean, you got better and better as the season wore on. And your fans, boy, they <laughs> are loyal. Great fans, <laughs> very loyal fans. Um, this was such an incredible experience and you know it was kind of a roller coaster because my nerves had the best of me I don't I've never had to go through the mental strength that these Olympians have prepared their whole life for so this was so new for me and um, you know the fans encouraged me so much pushing me through and it just I, like I'm sitting here in the final four top three it was amazing but it's know? great to see your appreciation and, and, thank you and, and boy James People appreciate you. You and Peter, you were given the encore dance from the freestyle. That had to be a little bit of a consolation for you. It absolutely was. It was very cool. I mean, this journey's been amazing. I've been so lucky to have Peter to take me through it. And this dance, 
This dance is one of the coolest things I've ever done, so the fact that the fans voted for us to come back and do it, even though we uh, didn't go on to the next day on Tuesday, we did get to do this dance again, and that was really something special for us. Yeah, and I guess uh, also the fans are weighing in at the little hot uh, pita. Um, you know, stop staring at yourself. I'm really <laughs> You're like, I look good. Um, the little smooch that you all shared and, you know, little talk it about. It complimented the tango. It did. Yeah, it was, it was it tango, tango peck. It's yeah. actually a new move they're yeah. going to start incorporating a in ballroom dancing now. Peck. It's definitive. None of that it's, almost it's, kissing it's, anymore. It's real. Right. right. It's, <laughs> there, was, there was no it's, mystery left it's there. So it's a professional okay. dance move, you know. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, don't look down, Max. So you know what's coming next. Because that is a number one question asked of you and Meryl, that you are just, even the judges said it, there was just something special about you guys on the dance floor, and people are interested to know if it carries elsewhere. We never really got the tango pack right, so we decided not to, <laughs> you know, yeah. especially following them, uh, but yeah, I, I, you say it better than me, so you go. <laughs> How do I say it? I don't know, you just, you just weasel out of this question a lot better than I do. <laughs> this is me weaseling out of this question, so. <laughs> Uh, no, I mean, we, it was an incredible connection right away. I, I don't know why. We come from completely different planets, mm -hmm. and, you know, she comes off of this, you know, roller coaster win at, at the Olympics, and I come in quietly trying to, you know, get whoever I'm given, last three weeks, be as silent as I can, and bow out and go home. Wow. You know, so, and then I get this, and <laughs> she's so inspiring that you know it just sucked me in and and we talked about this week one we blink and it's over and we literally mm -hmm. we were here yesterday just meeting for the first time amazing and you all had that all the chemistry and everyone want to know about the professional dancers are you all coming back next season mac mark, mark? we all we all don't really yeah. know until we get closer to the season so oh uh, i know no, not committing <laughs> oh goodness gracious well thank you very much